Hi, thank you for choosing to uh, watch this video. Uh, God bless you and protect you and your entire family. So, I don't know if this is a, a question that you've asked yourself before now, but um, who, who do you trust? Do you trust the government? Um, do you trust the police force? Do you trust the jab manufacturers? Do you trust the World Health Organization? Do you trust the, uh, the government advisors, the, uh, the scientists and these um, organizations such as SAGE? Who, who do you trust? Maybe in this last 12 months, institutions that you used to trust for, for reasons of just trusting in those that are meant to look after you and protect you, potentially your trust has been eroded or potentially shattered into a million pieces. We're all on a journey. We're all living in the world, in this beautiful world, living in these um, very dark times, experiencing things in our own way, with our own emotions, our own feelings, our own pride, um, our own life experiences, um, our own intellect, our our education, our experience with the education system, with, um, with, with government, with politics, with police, with science. We're all on a journey. So wherever you are in your life right now, I, I hope what I'm going to share in the rest of this video will, um, will be beneficial for you, will, will help you in some way, will, will strengthen you, will, will bring inside of you a greater sense of trust but it is trust in the Lord and so my, my final question of do you trust the Lord do you believe in the Lord Jesus so what I'm going to do I'm going to share scriptures having just earlier on this evening done a search on the YouVersion Bible app for trust in the Lord I was just led to do that search and I was taken aback by the number of scriptures from the Bible that came back where it specifically says trust in the Lord. So what I'm going to do for the rest of, of this video is I'm going to read scriptures out. I'm going to share which, uh, which book and chapter and verse it's from and then I'm just going to read and declare the word of God. The word of God, which is sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God that is, in, that is inspired by God, that is the truth. And in the search for the truth and in the search for who can you trust, particularly in these times that we're living in, trusting in the Lord is maybe something that you've never done in your life before or you may be watching this having you're in faith and you may be born again wherever you are you may be watching this and you have no faith you maybe live your life um, believing there is no God and you describe yourself as an atheist wherever you are in your life just for the rest of this video I'm going to be reading the Word of God and, and I just pray now in the name of Jesus Christ that the Holy Spirit is upon you to allow you to hear these words and to believe in these words taken from scripture, from the Holy Bible. So they're not going to be in um, any order. Um, I'm just going to read through and it's, it's a long list. Um, I may stop after a while when I feel that I've shared enough scriptures. So I pray that you will receive these words and that your faith will either be created for the first time or your faith will be increased maybe you need to hear these words right now so maybe this video is perfect for you in your life right now so proverbs 3 5 trust in the lord with all your heart do not depend on your own understanding Psalms 1188 It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. Psalms
Psalms 31, 6. I hate those who worship worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. Proverbs 22, 19. I am teaching you today. Yes, you. So you will trust in the Lord. Jeremiah 17, 7. But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Psalms 37, 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Psalms 21, 7. For the king trusts in the Lord. The unfailing love of the Most High will keep him from stumbling. Psalms 37, 9. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Hebrews 10, 35. So do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you. Psalms 34, 10. Even strong young lions sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Genesis 49, 18. I trust in you for salvation, O Lord. Psalms 91, 14. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. Nahum 1, 7. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. He is close to those who trust in him. Zephaniah 3, verse 12. Those who are left will be the lowly and humble, for it is they who trust in the name of the Lord. Psalms 11, 1. I trust in the Lord for protection. So why do you say to me, fly like a bird to the mountains for safety? Psalms 125, 1. Those who trust in the Lord are as secure as Mount Zion. They will not be defeated, but will endure forever. Zephaniah 3, verse 2. No one can tell it anything. It refuses all correction. It does not trust in the Lord or draw near to its God. Isaiah 50. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys his servant? If you are walking in darkness without a ray of light, trust in the Lord and rely on your God. Psalms 84, 12. O Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those who trust in you. Isaiah 40, verse 31. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Jeremiah 13, verse 25. This is your allotment, the portion I have assigned to you, says the Lord. For you have forgotten me, putting your trust in false gods. Leviticus 19 verse 4 Do not put your trust in idols or make metal images of gods for yourselves. I am the Lord your God. Proverbs 11, verse 28. Trust in your money and down you go. 
but the godly flourish like leaves in spring. Romans 10 verse 11 As the scriptures tell us, anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. Psalms 9 verse 10 Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Isaiah 26 verse 8 Lord, we show our trust in you by obeying your laws. Our heart's desires is to glorify your name. Psalms 40 verse 3 He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see that he has done, sorry, many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Jeremiah 17 verse 5. This is what the Lord says. Cursed are those who put their trust in mere humans, who rely on human strength and turn their hearts away from the Lord. John 12 verse 46. I have come as a light to shine in this dark world, so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. Psalms 52 verse 8 But I am like an olive tree, thriving in the house of God. I will always trust in God's unfailing love. Psalms 52 verse 9 I will praise you forever, O God, for what you have done. I will trust in your good name in the presence of your faithful people. Hebrews 2 verse 13. He also said, I will put my trust in him. That is, I and the children God has given me. Psalms 4 verse 5. Offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. Isaiah 12 verse 2 See, God has come to save me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Corinthians 2 verse 5 I did this so you would trust not in human wisdom but in the power of God one Peter 2 verse 6 as the scriptures say I am placing a cornerstone in Jerusalem chosen for great honor and anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced Habakkuk 2 verse 4 Look at the proud, they trust in themselves and their lives are crooked, but the righteous will live by their faithfulness to God. One Peter 3 verse 5 This is how the holy women of old made themselves beautiful. They put their trust in God and accepted the authority of their husbands. Ephesians 1 verse 12. God's purpose was that we Jews who were the first to trust in Christ would bring praise and glory to God. John 14 verse 1. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. John 12 verse 36 Jesus said put your trust in the light while there is still time then you will become children of the light after saying these things Jesus went away and was hidden from them Romans
Romans 15, verse 13. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Two Corinthians three, verse four. We are confident of all this because of our great trust in God through Christ. Psalms twenty seven, verse four. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. Psalms 115 verse 11. All you who fear the Lord, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. Psalms 37, 5. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. Psalms 40, verse 4. Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. Psalms 25, verse 2. I trust in you, my God. Do not let me be disgraced or let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. Psalms 56, 11. I trust in God, so why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? Ephesians 6 verse 10, a final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Psalms 37 4, take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Psalms 32 verse 10. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. Psalms 33 verse 4. For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything he does. I think I'll leave it there. I just pray that in the name of Jesus that you have, your heart and mind has been able to receive those words and to believe those words and to have your faith either ignited or increased or brought upon you. Maybe for the first time in your life, trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, the Son of God, who died on the cross for you, for me, for the whole world and rose again on the third day. Death is defeated. The enemy, Satan, is crushed. It is finished. And you have been chosen to be free. And who the sun sets free is free indeed. God bless you and protect you and your entire family. May his face shine upon you and I declare and decree in the name of Jesus Christ that in God's perfect time, every single chain of bondage that has been over you and your family and over any of your family generations, I declare and decree in the name of Jesus Christ that they are broken. It is finished in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.